I'll give number 13 to Abby Tash from episode 7. At the qualifier, she failed everything but got a fast time of 2 minutes 2 seconds, third place. She got through the multiplayer rounds, even getting first in both rounds of Winter Borderland. In the weapon zone, Abby failed thrice and got a time of 3 minutes 17 seconds, only just missing out on victory and getting second. I gave number 14 to Catch Your Lights Hot from episode 4. In the qualifier, she got a time of 2 minutes 11 seconds, second place. She then got second on ski lift and made it through the Winter Borderland. In the weapon zone, she got a time of 3 minutes 9 seconds, which is third place. I'll give number 15 to Babyface Bass from episode 4. In the qualifier, he got a time of 2 minutes 18 seconds, 6th place. He got first place in the first round of Winter Blunderland and made it to the final round. In the weapon zone, he impressively ran across the ice picks and to the center of the fricicles, and then finishing the course with a time of 2 minutes 16 seconds, winning the episode. I choose Speedy Pants Aaron from episode 6 for number 16. He got a time of 2 minutes 20 seconds in the first round, 6th place. In the multiplayer rounds, Aaron did good, getting second on the ski lift and even first in both rounds of Winter Blunderland. In the weapon zone, he had to restart the icy stairs, but impressively cleared everything from then on, getting a time of 2 minutes 27 seconds, narrowly second place. My pick for number 17 is Suspicious Helen for episode 1. In the qualifier, she went very fast, clearing the logjam and getting the fastest time of 1 minute 39 seconds. She then got through the multiplayer rounds without much trouble. In the weapon zone, she fell twice and got a time of 3 minutes 25 seconds, second place. Helen was good in the qualifier, but I don't know if she can make it farther in the second round in the championship. I gave number 18 to New School Cool Ben from episode 1. In the qualifier, he cleared the logjam and had a steady pace through the course, getting a time of 2 minutes 15 seconds, 6th place. He then impressively won every single multiplayer round, not touching the water once. In the weapon zone, Ben fell the icy stairs and the impossible snowflakes, going very slowly and getting the slowest time of 4 minutes 45 seconds. Ben was a skilled competitor, but he may need to go faster to succeed. I'd choose Beatman John for number 19. In the qualifier, he cleared the snowman splat and the bigger balls, getting the tied fastest time of 1 minute 54 seconds. He then won ski lift, but got the last qualifying spot in both rounds of Winter Blunderland. In the weapon zone, he fell twice but managed a quick time of 2 minutes 23 seconds, winning the episode. John did well throughout the episode, but I doubt he can make it past the third round against the other finalists, since he only barely made it through the first time around. My pick for number 20 is Short Shorts Dan from episode 3. In the qualifier, Dan cleared the icy hillock of doom, the bigger balls, and the logjam, getting the new speed record for the series of 1 minute 25 seconds. In the multiplayer rounds, he wasn't as successful, but still made it through. In the weapon zone, Dan kept up a steady pace, only failing the impossible snowflakes and getting a time of 2 minutes 18 seconds, which was enough to win. I'll pick Cappuccino Mikey from episode 8 for number 21. In the qualifier, he cleared the candy hoops and the logjam, finishing with a time of 2 minutes 6 seconds and getting second place. He then did okay in the multiplayer rounds, but never got a top 2 placement in any of them. In the weapon zone, Mikey failed only the ice picks and got a time of 1 minute 48 seconds, the new winter weapon zone speed record. Unluckily, this record was beaten 2 runs later, meaning he got second place. Mikey was a very strong competitor, but he may not be able to advance through the multiplayer rounds. Seeing how dedicated he was though, maybe he could pull something out of the bag. I'll give number 22 to Wheelie Dan for episode 4. In the qualifier, he cleared the candy hoops and got the fastest time of the day, 1 minute 55 seconds. He then won both the ski lift and the second round of Winter Blunderland. In the weapon zone, Dan was going fast but fell twice, then iconically becoming the first to ever clear the impossible snowflakes. Unfortunately, he was 5 seconds short of winning. Dan was a very impressive competitor, and I think he can go far. My choice for number 23 is Catchphrase King John for episode 3. In the first round, he cleared the logjam and got a pretty fast time of 2 minutes 7 seconds, second place. John then won all three of the multiplayer rounds, showing he was a very strong competitor. Despite failing three times in the wipe zone, he went relatively very fast and got a time of 2 minutes 31 seconds, but it wasn't enough to win. John showed he was very fast and good at the multiplayer rounds, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the wipe zone. My choice for the highest number of 24 is Alec Adan from episode 8. In the first round, he cleared the logjam and finished in 1 minute 58 seconds, first place. He then did pretty good in the multiplayer rounds, getting first in the second round of Winter Blunderland. In the wipe zone, Dan failed nothing until the impossible snowflakes, doing so with amazing efficiency and speed. He ended up with a time of 1 minute 34 seconds, breaking the speed record set two runs ago and winning the episode. Dan was already a strong competitor in the first three rounds, but his wipe zone run showed he was truly a force to be reckoned with in the champion special. Part 3 coming in 2 days.